Hi friends, this is Dheeraj Gupta, Managing Director and Founder Jumbo King, The Indian Burger. So in the previous episode, we, uh, we reviewed law number 5, The Law of Focus. So Alvarez and Dad Cloud in their book, The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing, have said the most powerful marketing concept is to own a word in a prospect's mind. Today, we'll be uh, reviewing law number 6, which is The Law of Exclusivity. What Alrice and Jack Trout have said is that two companies cannot own the same word in the prospect's mind. To understand this law better, I'm going to try and use an Indian example, which is Domino's and Pizza Hut. Both these companies, they operate in the pizza space. Pizza Hut talks about the dining experience of pizzas, while Domino's is the home delivery export. In the Indian context, Pizza Hut is trying to get its act together. And in doing so, when they realized that Domino's is doing well in the delivery segment, they decided to launch something called as PhD, which is Pizza Hut Delivery. At the same time, Domino's, sensing that Pizza Hut is trying to get its act in place, they decided, why not we get into the, fine, uh, into the dining experience uh, space? And they decided to add seating in their restaurants. Of course, both are large companies with very experienced management handling their operations. However, the law of exclusivity, as stated by Al Rice and Jack Trout, state, says that two companies cannot own the same word in the prospect's mind. So Pizza Hut is about the fine dining experience and Domino's is the home delivery export. So the jury is still not out, but I would put my money on Domino's focusing on its home delivery experience front because that market is still very, very large and they have a long, long way to go before they saturate the, home delivery, the pizza home delivery market in India. At the same time, Pizza Hut should focus on its dining experience. That is what their forte is and that is what will significantly increase their chances of uh, success in the Indian market. Now applying this to the Jumbo King context, the law of exclusivity, which says that two companies cannot own the same word in the prospect's mind. And that is why Jumbo King now is going after the word, the Indian burger. We feel that this word is not owned by anyone and Jumbo King, which is a brand born in India, can rightfully stake a claim on this word and really, really quickly make its way to the customer's mind. And that is how we will go national. Again, I'm sure there will be questions in your mind. Please feel free to write to me. I'll be very, very happy to answer them for you. Let's have a conversation and let's learn together. Thank you so much.